Well, here we are at Tigerland where Ben Cousins has just fronted the media and what a circus it was. In the words of Ben Cousins, he didn't have this many people at his 21st. Well, the former Brownlow medalist did a quick skill session. He tested out his legs and looked pretty good And uh, before putting his hand up to play against Fremantle this week. When fronting the media, he read a prepared statement saying that he took a prescribed sleeping pill and got the dosage wrong and he apologised for the distress that the uh, episode has caused the club. Uh, ben has said that he's keen to play against Fremantle this weekend, that he won't be taking those uh, prescribed medication anymore and that he's keen to go on next year. My family and in particular the footy club, uh, it came about by taking a prescription medication from a doctor where I got the dosage wrong and had an adverse effect to the medication and found myself in a bit of strife and I guess it's probably a lesson for everybody. It's, it's not just the medication that you're taking but in particular how much of it. Um, it's been a big wake up call for me. Um, so I was, I was in a bit of a bad way a couple of days ago but um, I've been able to tick the legs over uh, today, uh, feel pretty fresh and will full train tomorrow and do everything I can to convince the match committee to pick me this week against Frio. Uh, the boys are up and about and uh, I certainly don't want to hop off the wagon. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm happy to take a few questions. Oh, it's, it's between my, me and my doctor, it's just, um, you know, it's, 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 it's above board, it's not illegal or anything um, untoward, it's, uh, you know, it's something that's been prescribed to me with a fair bit of um, thought process going, you know, going into it. Uh, it was just probably an error on my judgement. Was it a scary experience? Uh, I don't remember a lot of it, to be honest. I, um, I was asleep for the best part of it, so uh, probably scarier for the people around me. I was lucky my girlfriend was there to you know, scoop me up. Will you continue to take these pills? And... No, I won't, no. <laughs> Once bitten, twice shy, so I, uh, yeah, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a serious thing and something that uh, I'll probably continue to reevaluate. The combination of caffeine pills and sleeping pills, it's something that's been brought up quite a lot in terms of it potentially being a problem amongst the AFL. Do you think it's a problem and is it abused? Oh, I don't think it's abused. I just think, um, you know, with stuff like that, uh, it's important to consult your club doctor. Um, it's certainly not an illegal substance. You know, you, a cup of coffee does virtually the same thing. So, um, yeah, I, I don't see it a problem. I, I haven't seen it abused. Um, and I think to abuse caffeine probably has an adverse effect on your performance. It's what? Why do you want the AFL to break this? Oh, well, just, I think it was important with my history and, uh, you know, the speculation and innuendo that surrounds anything that happens to me. Um, there's always going to be that sort of speculation. Um, it certainly it wasn't of a, a sinister nature and I just thought it was an opportunity just to clear my name from that point of view. And, and what, about your, what about your future in terms of the, your career beyond this season? Is it something that you're continually assessing and what do you think? Ah, oh, well, it's, it's more something I think the club's continually consistent, uh, you know. I, um, I've got eight games of footy that I'm looking forward to and uh, I'm hoping to play good footy justify my existence and I'll sit down with the coaches and see what they um, you know what they have in store you know I've had a great time at Richmond and if it comes to an end at the end of this year I won't leave bitter and twisted it's been a, an amazing club to be involved in they've given me you know an opportunity to get my life back on track so if it ends now it'll be you know it'll be disappointing but I'll walk away a happy person thanks Now, we played a moment ago the press conference that Ben Cousins had. I was a little interested that uh, he did seem reluctant. To, one of the questions I, I suggested Seb Costello asked before he went down there, our program reporter, was, uh, you know, what was, what was the medication you took? Was it a sleeping tablet? What sort of brand was it? That sort of thing, which I think is uh, interesting. And his reply was interesting and maybe a little telling. I wonder if it really was a sleeping tablet. Listen to this from the press conference. 
Ben, what was the prescription? Oh, it's, it's between my, me and my doctor. It's just, um, you know, it's, 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 it's above board. It's not illegal or anything um, untoward. It's, uh, you know, it's something that's been prescribed to me with a fair bit of um, thought process going, you know, going into it. Uh, it was just probably an error on my judgment. Was it experience? Okay, well, you can see what I mean. What was the prescription that the doctor gave you and he's, he's uh, avoided the point on whether it's a sleeping tablet or what it is? In a sense, I feel sorry for him. That's his business. I mean, if he's taking some medication he doesn't want to talk about for whatever reason, that is his business. But on the other hand, he's put himself into a public position there to answer questions about it. There are every, it is very well known what happened to him and maybe he does need to answer it. We know it was a prescription medication, I've just talked to a number of people who find it very, experts in the area, who find it very hard to believe or understand how you could have that sort of reaction to a sleeping tablet. Uh, no, no suggestion it's anything other than prescription medication, but there are other medications which can cause that sort of reaction. Uh, and I don't think he's really confirming it's a, uh, a sleeping tablet. Hmm. But the point is it's legal.